Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Open4. So, unlike the old method of installation, I'm going to be showing you the new one. Um, because you cannot download Open4 from the official site, as some of you may know. Which kind of sucks, but we still have a different uh, method of installation now. So, um, now what you can do to install it is you just click on download on the GTA 5 um, mods website and you should find something like this uh, once you find your once you download this uh, WinRAR file you just right click and click on extract here there you go and now you just click on install open for and you should wait for this to start okay so now you can click on um, GTA 5 uh, windows and now you should have a, um, a update now you can click on in download and install uh, this one this update I believe will um, install a, a um, Actually, no, I don't think you can skip this, so just click download and install because I believe that this update is an update which um, introduces a, a pop-up window that will tell you to uninstall the mod every time, either the, the program each time you open it up. But okay, let's just download it. It doesn't really matter anyways. Okay, so now that it's finished downloading, it will install it. It will update the, the program. Okay, so there you go. As you can see, the pop-up has well opened up. Uh, no problem. All you have to do is click on uninstall later. Every single time you get this pop-up, which is okay. Um, it really doesn't matter to me. So you click on I have read the license, close, continue. Okay, and now you choose your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. So mine is in my E folder, or my E, e drive, which is here, but yours might be in a different place. Now, the way to find where your GTA 5 folder is, is to um, go to library, Right click on Grand Theft Auto 5, click on Properties, go to Local Files, and Browse Local Files. So there you go, this is my uh, GTA 5 main directory. So now you open up, um, yeah, so you just head on over there. So mine is, let's see, Steam Library, you can just follow the path. Um, okay. Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and Grand Theft Auto 5. And then you just want to select the folder. There you go. So you press Continue, Continue, and Close. Oh, wait. No. Continue. Okay. So once you see this, everything's working fine, and you basically have open for installed okay there we go so um, once you have installed open for you want to click on tools um, ASI manager and here you want to click install, install, install. Mine are already installed because I just had them installed beforehand. But yours should say um, not installed, not installed, not installed. And you just want to install all of these. Now, what each of these does is is very important. Um, this one allows you to edit um, RPF files. This one uh, lets you um, add in ASI, you know, uh, uh, 
ASI files. Uh, this one lets you edit the free camera. So basically, when you have, uh, it's, 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 if you work with Rockstar Editor, you'd know. But if you don't, if you don't, then I guess you don't need it. But um, I advise that you install all of them because it doesn't really take up that much space. So now you can just close this, and you are ready to go. Now, uh, in the video that I have um, told you to visit this video from, uh, you should probably, uh, I'll tell you which um, mods to copy over into your mods folder. This is very important because um, whenever you're modding, you need to have a mods folder. So um, if you don't have one, this should create one. Uh, where is it? Yeah. This this ASI um, plugin should install. I uh, should add a mods folder. So to copy any folder into your mods folder, you just wait. No, I think I have most of the files here copied over. Um, let's just take installers. No. 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 Okay. So it looks like I have practically everything copied over into my mods folder uh... unfortunately yes but basically you just right click and you should have a copy to mods folder um, option in the in the drop down menu so yeah that's how you copy things into your mods folder and you'll have to do that when you want to install a mod which i will tell you i'll instruct you on which you know folders to copy over into your mods folder when you're actually you know installing your mods so that's it for today's videos uh, for today's video I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it I hope this uh, clears a few things so modding is not dead it is most definitely going to continue and as long as someone has a copy of and a clean copy of this of this um, of these files we should be alright so yeah, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video, and this is it for, for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.